Right, so what we're looking at here is my White Knight, mine, um, White Knight, um, A class, um, CL847 Vented Tumble Dryer. Right, it's also a sensor dryer as well. So you've got, uh, just to quickly go over, you've got your heat settings, you've got your high, high low, and then you've got your low energy button with fast and slow and then you've got start and there's an anti-crease light to show the end that will obviously come up at the end of the cycle and then you've got five levels you've got the fullest dry next dry next next less and damp very damp and then you've got time dry which is half an hour and then freshen up which i think is just cool air Right, so what we're going to do, right, you've got your 5 kilogram capacity, it is only 5 kilo, not 6, but it should be the, pretty much the same drum. Don't forget how old this machine is, it is going, it's getting on for about 10 year old, even more than that, to be honest. Um, and oddly enough, we nearly ended up with a silver version of this many 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 moons ago and in fact that many moons ago it was actually before we bought the VTD00 back in uh, 2007 January 2007 um, there was an eBay bid for a used one of these in silver and it went for about 60 odd quid or something, 60 something quid and this hot point VTD which is brand new but obviously with a couple of marks on it, so it graded on bid and that's when, and obviously bought that for 106, down from 160. Um, so I never ended up with one of these. Right. Just to quickly tell you, to activate the uh, A-class um, energy rating, you have to press the low energy button in. Right, and uh, that also means that it actually takes 8 hours to complete the cycle. Don't know how it works, and we'll find that out. But well, essentially, that's how long it takes. Turn it off, and it should act like a normal dryer. And it should take obviously around 60 minutes, 70 minutes, whatever, however long it takes. So we've got a 5 kilogram drum. Um, as you can see, it's marked buggery. It's got a few scratches there, a few marked surface dents there. The chap hasn't even cleaned it. There's paint. It's um, paint dashes here, obviously splashes back from when someone's been painting, and there's a, well, that's not cracked, something's hit that, but it's like to be, more likely to be jeans or something. Let me just show you that. So that's there. But it is in good condition. You've got that. There's no vent, so I'm going to have to buy one to vent it out. And just to also to clarify this, it won't be in here in this shed, which is my dad's shed. It will eventually be in our house. Or uh, me and my girlfriend are actually moving in together. And if you're watching this, it means, we've, it means that we've moved in, but this hasn't been moved yet. So this is filmed in the past, of course. Next time you will see it properly in action, it will be in the new house. Alongside uh, my Zanussi Jet System Progress, which you also see on YouTube as well. And again, if you watch that, it means we've now actually moved in. We've secured the place, we've gone into some place. Right, shall I pull it in? So. Right, what we're going to do now, in your next video, is just a test cycle, just a test sensor, make sure it works. So we're going to put a, full, uh, a 2 kilogram load in, which I've washed. Uh, it's only been spun at 800 RPM. Right, so we'll watch this next. Sorry, just a quickly update, right, and it must be added on to the video, is that there is actually a vent. Like all white knights, it's built into the machine. 
but it's been pushed far back, that far back in that I didn't notice. Oops. <laughs> so actually, we can vent it out. Um, I'll just vent it out on the side of the sh shed here, with the door open for now. While we run this test load. Okay.